This is indicative of what I, I was saying before about the uh, where's the water gone and the temperatures and how they've been and how they're frost and everything. I'm pretty sure that free trees need to be really, really cold at night and stuff for the, for the sap to flow. And these buckets are probably just put there this morning and they're like a third full. So the temperatures are perfect. It's really, really warm out, but really, really cold at night times. And so the ground is frozen, you know, it's frozen. And that's a huge amount of snow to melt. And usually this would be, I'd be soaked, that'd be a mud cake. I'm, I know the guy that usually does this. I don't know him, but I bet you he's been wearing rubber boots most of his life doing it. Because that's all the water's there. You know, the water isn't sinking in because the ground's frozen. Where is all the water from that huge amount of snow? We had so much snow, it's unbelievable. And there's tons melting today. It's just melting fast, right? Probably isn't melting as fast as usual because of the chemical stuff, but the, uh, there's hardly no water. Ditches are usually filled with water this time of year, like filled. Enormous amounts of snow. You have no idea on how much snow there was. Right there, I guarantee you there was eight, nine feet of snow up there and a huge drift. Like this was huge. It was probably, you know what? It was probably about 15 feet high, the drift right here. Because you can see by the landscape, and this is on the uh, southeast exposure. That's the side where the snow gets stumped. This road was like filled with snow many a times. I've never come up this road in a snowstorm. I'll have to check it out. Wow. Here I guarantee it was at least eight feet tall snow too. This, the snow bank. sign people we're good we're in big trouble you know another sign